Now, generating electricity from sunlight isn't a new idea. For example, this calculator has just got a little solar panel at the top, and that powers this. But in recent years, the cost has come down, and that means that these are more widely seen and actually can be used to generate meaningful amounts of electricity. So a lot of houses now have solar panels fitted to the top. They're actually called photovoltaic cells. So photo is to do with light, like in photograph, and voltaic, volts, is to do with electricity. And what they're doing is they're basically sat here, there's no moving parts, and as the light lands on top, it generates a small electric current. So this is where you've got uh, a bank of hundreds and hundreds of these photovoltaic cells in a field somewhere, and they just sit there generating electricity all day. And um, they're brilliant because there's no, nothing being burnt, so there's no CO2 emission, um, so we're not kind of adding to any greenhouse gases. I guess one of the downsides is, is that they don't really work all the time because a lot of the time it's night time. And if the weather's not great, if it's particularly cloudy or stormy, again, that's going to reduce the amount of electricity developed. So photovoltaic cells are brilliant. Um, obviously, there's some initial setup costs, but once they're running, because it's a renewable energy resource, that means that we can just keep on generating this green electricity. So photovoltaic cells, widely used, and as their technology develops, the cost is going to come down even more. And again, this is just another way of meeting our future energy demands.